All right, everybody. Spectacular, the silver stacular. Well, I'll never use that again. That was silly. Anyways, just kidding. I want to make a quick little, uh, we'll call it a Halloween video about being, um, you know, afraid of this stuff, afraid of, of silver. Um, I, I've talked to a few people even recently, and they're just afraid that they're going to make a mistake. They're afraid their investment's not going to be worth anything. You know, they have this fear of the unknown. Um, one thing about this stuff is compared to other investments. Let's use stocks as an example. You could buy, let's imagine this right here was a stock. First of all, it'll never be in your hand, like this stuff. The stock is just some imaginary thing somewhere that you never really get to even see or hold usually. And, I mean, you know you have it because somebody tells you you have it basically. But, you know, that stuff, you could wake up tomorrow. The company didn't do good, went bankrupt, thought it was a good option for them. Now your investment is zero. It is worth nothing. And I'm not being like, you know, a little like sarcastic on the zero or anything. It is zero. Nothing. You've lost all your money. Whereas this stuff right here, this silver, it does not go to zero. It can never go to zero. You're not going to find some kind of like silver hoard that's going to just, you know, whatever. Or a new metal that's going to, you know, make this stuff obsolete. This is it. This stuff will always be valuable. And you need to have some. Some. Maybe not, you know, the whole world supply. But get yourself a little some, you know. Uh, you know, try some out comes in different different uh, varieties. Here's just some coins. This is all like junk silver. There's a couple little odds and ends here that are kind of like a little different special to me. Um, cool stuff. But yeah, don't be afraid of this stuff. I hear some people, like, you know, they're afraid. Do a little research. Research will make you feel better. You know, and, and since it's Halloween special, I brought a special guest today. Um, I got Silverbug 2018. Silverbug, tell, tell everybody hello. Silverbug, here you go. This is what you should be afraid of. Things like this. This thing, you know what I mean? This this is a lot of people's fear right here. Not the silver. You know, the silver can't can't bite anybody. The silver doesn't have fangs. You know? It's it's totally different. Silver doesn't have these little sharp hairs on them. Sharp little claws on their feet, which I don't know if you can see that, but they're definitely there. But I had a very real, real fear of this guy right here. You know, uh, some years ago. And in order to fight my fear, I decided, hey, let's do some research. Let's find out what they're about. Let me get over my fear by tackling it head on. So now we got a, um, a bird-eating tarantula on my hand to help me get rid of this fear of spiders. Now, I still don't want to go out and just pick up any old spider. You know what I mean? But, uh, you know, here's one. Here's a tarantula. It's pretty big. This is about, you know, a seven-inch long mature male tarantula. His goal in life at this point would be just to mate, but he'll probably never see that. Nobody wants to mate um, mate the tarantula because it's going to, you know, the female would have about 3,000 or plus eggs. And nobody wants that many of these little dudes, you know, running around. So uh, he'll, he'll probably never have that opportunity, but he serves another purpose and he gets to be a special guest on the video and he gets to come on here and, and teach you about what, what you should be really afraid of, you know hairy little tarantulas. So let's see if we can have fun with him for a minute, since he is a special guest. Does he want to do anything? He just wants to sit there. Maybe he wants to talk about the silver. You know, maybe uh, maybe he wants to invest one day, so that uh, if he ever did have the opportunity to, to uh, make little tarantula babies, that, you know, they would be secure in their future. But uh, I'll tell you a little bit about this guy, just for fun. Just to you know, break up the videos that are all about silver that I put out. But a uh, little guy here, um, he's about seven inches, a mature male tarantula. He's a, uh, a bird-eating type tarantula. It doesn't mean they're out there eating birds all day. It's just kind of a nickname for them because they are so big. And the males are usually generally smaller than the females. The female would be quite a bit bigger and heavier than this one right here would be. Um, all spiders and tarantulas have fangs. So I don't know if you can see them un tucked underneath them there, but he's tucked them underneath. They are fangs. Um, all spiders and tarantulas are venomous. There's no, oh, he, he must have had it devenomized for the video or, or, you know, he had his fangs removed. No, that would kill the tarantula. There's no such thing as that happening. This thing has full venom, has full-on fangs, and it could bite me anytime he really wanted to. 
But he wants to sit here on this video and learn about silver, just like, you know, you all should be doing. So he's not going to bite me today, I don't think. Man, I hope not. Because those fangs would go through my skin. And if it was to bite me in the finger, it'd probably go through a majority of my finger. So not really wanting that to happen right now. But, but this little dude and others have helped me get over that fear. And, uh, you know, through research and through just, just uh, obtaining it and holding it and, f and finding out more about it, you could do the same thing with the silver, you know, do a little research, hold it, obtain it, find out about it, see it go up and down in the market, you know, learn about how, you know, it can help you and protect you and whatnot. And, uh, you know, do a little learning. I'd love, I'd, I'd love to show you some of this stuff. It's, it's so hard in these, in these, uh, videos little three cent piece, little trime that I found while I was hunting through junk piles. I mean, like, I like coins and I like silver. I mean, it's just, it's a happy little marriage. I like this dude right here. See how close I can get. Whoa. What else can I tell you about these little guys? So, um, he's very hairy, if you can see that. So they had these little hairs on the back of them on their, uh, we're going to call them their little cute uh, spider buns. So on their little cute spider buns, they have um, some some hairs, and these hairs under a microscope look crazy. They look almost like a sharp feather. So what they'll usually do, uh, instead of using just their fangs, is maybe they'll take their these these hairs and they'll use their back legs, these two here, and they'll grab them with these little pincers that they have. I'm not gonna be able to show you those probably. Eh, maybe a little bit. See those little, at the very end of the foot there, it's almost like a little, little pincer. He's grabbing onto my hand right now with it. Little claws almost. They'll take those little claws and they'll grab the hairs and they'll flick them at you. And some hairs on different tarantulas are worse than others as far as, you know, pain or irritation. Um, this one doesn't bother me too much. He's, uh, he's got a little bald spot. They flick their hairs for all kinds of reasons. They flick, flick them because they're, you know, trying to defend themselves. Sometimes he's in his little cage and I see him just flick for no reason. So I'm sure he's got a reason. Maybe he's practicing. I don't know. But um, that's something they can do. Uh, generally, if they want to bite me, what they'll do is, so let's say these are his, his front legs here. He'll raise them up like this and almost like an attack position. Now his, his fangs are down here. You know, he'll raise them up. And I kind of like stand up a little bit. I, I'm not going to try to get him to do it. I'm not trying to stress this tarantula out. But that's that's his way of saying like, please leave me alone. And uh, so I said before that they're full on venomous, right? But they can choose, a tarantula, a little different from a spider, can choose to maybe not throw that venom into you when they bite you. Maybe it's just going to be what they call a dry bite. So, so maybe he's not in the mood to just, you know, throw his venom away. But they have different options, and they're they're not out to get you. You know what I mean? These tarantulas, that's not their goal. You're not their food. They want to defend themselves, and that's all they want to do. They're not trying to trying to kill you in your sleep, you know? It's not the arachnophobia movie with the spiders that, you know, they're jumping into the house and just killing everybody. A little different from that, you know? And that, you learn that stuff because of research. And the research protects you, and it makes you feel good at night because you did a little research... So, you just, I don't know, you just feel better about it. And I'm not thinking this guy is going to try to come out and kill me. But if he did, man, that'd be a really good video. Whew, imagine the hits. If I had a tarantula just on, on video, just, just eat me alive. Wow, never been done before on YouTube. Hey, never been done before on YouTube. I think the, uh, the silver tarantula combo may be a first for YouTube. I don't know. You know, scour the, uh, scour the internet and find out. You might have found uh, Spectacular doing it right here first. This little guy. He's being real boring for this video. I'm sure you want to see him like go crazy and try to, you know, destroy me in some way. But, uh, but yeah, he's not He's not going to do it. Not going to do it today. So, I mean, you can see how big he is. It's a, it's a big one. And he's not even fully stretched out. When he fully stretches out, let's see if I can get him to do that. He gets big. Those are some long, long legs. Look how long those legs are. Jeez. Oh, you probably want to know what kind this is. This is a, uh, a Lassiodora periabana. So it's a Brazilian bird-eating tarantula. Pink salmon, Brazilian bird-eating. It's, it's got different kind of little special names, but its scientific name is uh, 
the Lassiodora periobana, and um, known to get pretty large. Like I said, the females get much larger. Uh, rumors, I don't want to say rumors, but people claim that they're up to 11 inches long. This guy's at 7, 7 because he's a male. Males stay a little bit smaller, and he's a mature male. He only has a few, uh, a few more months to maybe a year or two with us left. I mean, it's possible he could live a little longer, but like I said before, his his goal in life is to learn about silver and mate, and that's it. That's what he's designed for right now. He's he's uh, he's reached his final what they call a molt when they basically shed their their carapace and they grow larger. He's reached his final molt, and uh, yeah, his time is limited, unfortunately, but. He's served me well. He's helped me get used to tarantulas. He's been my buddy for a long time. I've fed him, kept him happy, got him nice and fat. Look at that. Look at that cute little tarantula booty right there. You know, like, he's he's happy. Well, he'd be happier if I can give him a female, but then the females try to eat them, and then maybe he wouldn't be happy. I don't know. He seems all right right now, though. He likes that silver. Look at that. Look at the silver. <gasps> you want to you wanna invest, don't you? You want to invest here. I'm going to give you a little investment. I'm going to start you out with some right there. Boom. Don't bite me, okay, please? Please don't invite me. There you go. That's a, a 1918 Walking Liberty half dollar. That's a good starting point right there, little dude. Silverbug 2018. Okay. What else can I tell you about these guys? Um, I don't know. They're tarantulas. They're, they're what you should be afraid of if you're going to have any kind of real fear. Something that can bite you with fangs. It's creepy looking. has eight legs. That's, you know, that's scary. Not this stuff. This stuff is not scary. And really, I mean, I don't think he's scary either. He just, you know, he's just really misunderstood. And some of the things I was telling you about earlier, it's because people ask me that all the time. Oh, they he must be devenomized. Oh, he must be defanged. It's no big deal. Like, nope. No, he's, he's real in every way. And so is this stuff. You can touch it, feel it, you know, just like him. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend petting him like some of this stuff. You can pet this stuff, but... You pet him, and he may not enjoy that. So, you know, maybe this video was just for fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make another video by Halloween. I plan to. In fact, just, just go ahead and count on it. I'm just going to do it. Whatever. I'm just going to make some videos before Halloween. But this will be my official Halloween video with Silverbug 2018. And, uh, you know... We're, we're both going to wish you a happy Halloween when that time comes. And uh, hope you get lots of uh, treats and uh, very few tricks. Wouldn't it be terrible if you reached in one of those bags and all of a sudden this dude was at the bottom? That'd be kind of scary. So, anyways, he seems kind of bored. Uh, he's learned all there is to learn about uh, silver and uh, my junk silver here. And he's over it. So I'm going to put him back. Let him go back to, uh, I don't know, doing what he does in there, which is not much. He just sits there and kind of relaxes a lot. You know, don't blame him. It's a hard life being a tarantula. Everybody's got you misunderstood because they didn't do their research. You know, just like this stuff. Everybody's afraid of it because they didn't they didn't want to listen to you or look on the internet or just buy some for themselves and try it. It's real cheap. Real cheap stuff. You can go out there and buy a little bit. No big deal. All right. Say goodbye to Silverbug 2018. Say goodbye, Silverbug. Look at those eyes. Oh, they're so cute. He's looking at everybody. He's like, hey, where do you guys live? I have to come over and see your collection. <laughs>